There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Hey, cunts. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I asked you the question, what's the highest performance thing that you did in your life? Some of you just draw a line. I guess that means none, right? I guess. I don't know for sure. Uh, zero. One of you said uh, nothing to talk about. Uh, some of you put your advanced degrees. Uh, some of you, uh, I think one of you said being here. Uh, one of you said uh, being picked to be uh, to, 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 in some special program. But if that's all you've done, you know your emotional bank account is built up through an educational degree. You know that 8 million people have that same degree. You know you have turned that not into one nickel. So even though you put it down, you realize it, it's, it doesn't really mean that much. How many chartered accountants are there in Britain? Too many. Yes, uh, that's the exact answer I would give, too many. You have never, on purpose, tried to build up your emotional bank account. Through affirmation, goals and affirmations, you will start to build up because your subconscious doesn't know you're full of shit. I see myself, well, that's not a good one. There's one of these, um, one of these posters that shows me in the famous picture where I'm wearing a, uh, a blazer, some riding pants and boots, and I've got a, uh, a riding crop, and I'm standing there looking. Uh, that's what I saw myself as being a country gentleman before I ever moved here. I saw myself. So when I, that became, uh, came to fruition, it was like deja vu. I had already been there. But I've directly or indirectly been working on my uh, uh, emotional bank account. That's why I went to expensive restaurants I couldn't afford. I wanted to see how the rich people uh, acted. That's why I used to go to the airport and watch them get off Pan Am, fly from Paris or London to Los Angeles to see the rich people get off the planes. This is when I was still in university. That's why I used to go uh, look at two, one, two, and three million dollar houses in the early 70s, and that's a lot of fucking house. Uh, on open house day, I used to go into Beverly Hills and places uh, with my girlfriend at the time. That's why I used to go to restaurants I couldn't afford. And I was, I was directly or and indirectly, indirectly in that case, building up my emotional bank account. And now, this is the life, of, I've led this life 35, 40 years now. So me going to the Carnegie Club for my birthday, even though I'd never been there, although I almost bought Skibo Castle right after I bought this castle, um, it was like deja vu. And if you look on uh, the uh, social media, I'm standing next to uh, Andrew Carnegie's bust at the top of the staircase, or I'm standing next to his uh, uh, painting that's in downstairs. Um, and it's, it's kind of full circle. I'm, I'm, I, this is not my retirement speech, kids. But anyway, it's kind of full circle because now I'm there, the guy that I modeled for almost all my life. Emotional bank account is significantly more important than your financial bank accounts. If your emotional bank accounts were full, you wouldn't be here. 